At the age of six, I had my first recording, and it was a kids' album back in Bengal because my father has been a singer and an right. actor in Bengal for a very long time. My sister is one of my favorite singer of all time. Learned a lot from actually by listening to her. From I was your... learning, listening to my dad, and my sister. I actually started learning classical a little late. I wish I had started earlier. But I, from a very early age, I had been listening to all kinds of music. English music, Western mm. music, gotten introduced to me. When I was in class seven or something, and um, so the song that I first ever learned in the English song was Barbara Streisand and uh, Celine, Celine Dion. Dion's "That One Tell Him." I did quite a few recordings with some uh, very good musicians over there, but um, not professionally or anything. Somehow, just did it because Baba. Uh, he was in the industry, so they right. used to say, "Okay, Munadi sings so well," uh, and uh, that's how I started my recordings, uh, but not professionally as such. In fact, so strange. I started off with kirtans. I never learned kirtan. I never learned that. Uh, when I I was in uh, school, eleven, twelve, and then the college. That phase. Our family went through a financial crisis, so um, but we were in real bad state at that point of time, to the point that didn't know whether my education will continue or not. Wow, okay. And uh, that's when the reality shows started coming in, which was Indian Idol had started, and first season was epic. A lot of my friends, after Indian Idol season one, doing really well, they said that you should go for this, and then um, I went. I was so scared of the entire competition. But somehow, who um, gave top ten to gay? Everybody thought I would go further, but God has His own plans, His or her own plans. And um, I uh, went out in the top ten nine, and then I, I was like, in fact, I was really glad that I went out of the competition. I cried a lot, I remember, but I actually was uh, happy because uh, it helped me in my playback. Pursuing the playback career, I started uh, struggling and uh, meeting certain people. Knew nobody on this planet actually, because I was my sister was the one who was supposed to come to Bombay, and uh, what happened after Indian Idol was that uh, I got uh, introduced to the gigs world. Okay. So I started, and I was I don't know, both nakre shuru sahi the, and I was very choosy still. In spite of not having money, I was choosy. <laughs> <laughs> like, khana nahi milega, fir bhi choosy thi. I didn't want to go and perform everywhere, so it was pricey like <laughs> that probably. But I, um, in spite of being choosy, I started doing some gigs. So uh, gradually, uh, there was even a time when I had no money and I had to go back to Kolkata. In it, we like I remember cutting ticket. My mom and I, huh. we were like, can't stay. We can't pay the rent. I remember ten thousand was the rent. Couldn't pay that. I had to go back. So saw rupee, ten rupee cutte karke. Mom and I just somehow booked a ticket and. Uh, Went back to um, Calcutta and stayed there, and whatever little things we did, recordings, they were gigs, earned some money again, came back. Then, okay. So then, after I came back, after that, when I came back, I somehow, milte milte logo se, I got introduced to tips. It was an album deal that they did. I went to their office and I sang. I had sung Celine Dion songs, and, and uh, then uh, they were excited. And uh, at that time, Rajiv Sogani told me somebody was there, and uh, he was the director of the music department, I think. So okay. he was the one instrumental on uh, pushing me for race ki gaane. So he told Kumar ji, <coughs> and Kumar ji told Ramesh ji, and then Ramesh ji told Pritam da, and also Pritam da knew me. He, he has always been very supportive. Um, I had worked with him before this on um, an um, MTV ke gaane me. Uh, he was very happy to hear that Ramesh ji is uh, recommending my name. Uh, okay, let's go try it. Karwa, this guy's voice is good. So they tried, and it was a scratch. Yeah. Now I had no idea uh, uh, that it's actually gonna be kept or what it was. So Correct. they tried my voice, and zara zara touch me happened like that. Jo bhi abhi ho raha na ka, it all has been designed by God in a very very funny way. I was judging Sare Ga Ma Pa, Bengal one. I judged it for two years. So what happened? I was spot by. A fantastic lady director Tanuja Chandra. She saw the videos of uh, Sare Ga Ma Pa when I was judging it, and I was an Indian avatar. They were gonna go on floor with a film um, from a very big banner. One day I got a call from Tanuja Chandra. Hey, would you wanna act? Are you interested in acting? I was like, what? And then I started losing weight because I was fat at that point of time. Again, after that uh, Bengal phase of. Uh, मैंने पहले जो किया था एक्टिंग फिर बहुत सालों बाद दिस अगेन केम बैक एंड आई रियलाइज आई एम एंजॉइंग दिस ऑडिशन प्रोसेस आल्सो यू नो एंड माय एंड तनुजा शी सेड दैट यू आर रियली नाइस एंड शी एनकरेज्ड मी सो वंडरफुली 
that I genuinely took it seriously and that's when I started working on it. I, I, right. as, I, as I said, I quit that um, judging thing judging and everything. Thing. Right. And I came to Bombay, I started my indie scene. I started, uh, I got introduced to Karsh Kale, that's how I did Coke Studio Coke with Studio him, with yes. Yeah, that's what happened. That's, that's how, how my life started rolling.